friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Saturday, it's Saturday so it's another grocery haul. This week I just went to Target but I have some fun non-food and lots of great food items to share with you as well as what my plan is for dinners for the week and the exciting recipes you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So if you're excited for a grocery haul, give this video a big huge thumbs up and don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single grocery haul or any other video that's uploaded each week. I do upload five times or so a week so you definitely don't want to miss out. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories apps absolutely essential for success to know where you should fall calorie wise, whether you're on WW or not. And if you want to chat with me directly, I do have one-on-one -on -one coaching options as well. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group also down in that description box. Head on over, join us on Facebook, another amazing supportive community that would love to have you be part of it. So let's jump into this week's grocery haul, meal plan, and meal prep. this week's grocery haul for time purposes because I had a super busy day today. I just went to Target. I did find a few good things. They had some really, really good sales. So I'm going to share with you all the food for the week, non-food items. Then we'll jump into my meal plan and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep with non-food items they had spend $25 on pet items get $5 off and my dogs always could use more dog treats so this fruitables brand is really good nice clean ingredients these are the biggies and I picked them up the bacon and apple you can see the size of these treats so great for bigger dogs and from that same brand I picked up the peanut butter and banana these big bags were $9.99 a piece also from fruitables they had the PB and joy these are peanut butter and banana soft treats. They are so incredibly soft. These were $7.99 and then I ended up saving $5. So I really only paid $2.99 for these. On my beauty channel, I did a full face of affordable NYX makeup. If you haven't seen that yet, I will link that video down below for you. I fell in love with this NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. I mix this in with my foundation and it just gives you this gorgeous glow. So this is the second one I purchased. That's how much I absolutely love it. I will make sure that I link all of the non-food things that I picked up from Target down below if you wanna just hop on their website and order it or add it to your next shopping cart. Also on my beauty channel, I did a skincare dupes video and this is the Soap and Glory Glow Your Mind makeup removing balm. This is a dupe for the Clinique Take the Day Off. That's over $40. I got this for about $11 at Target. Again, this is a repurchase because it is that good. And it's so, so incredibly affordable. And lastly, for non-food, I needed some eye drops for dry eye. My right eye waters constantly. I've tried allergy drops. So now I'm going to try dry eye drops as I think that may be why it waters so much. So I picked those up. Moving into food, I decided I wanted to try the Coke Zero Sugar Cherry Vanilla. I've heard this is delicious. I'm not a big diet pop drinker. This will last me over a month, but I wanted to pick it up and try it. It was the last one there. A can of cheddar cheese soup. This is for a recipe. These are new and these were on sale for $1.29. I love marshmallows. Fun fact about me, I love them. I love them as just a snack because you guys know I'm a huge sweets eater. So I picked these up. I wanna try these. These are the Lucky Charm marshmallows. You can have 15 of them for 100 calories. So not bad at all. 15 is a lot because these are actually pretty good sized marshmallows. Because they were such a great price, I had to pick them up to try them. For Troy's Meat Cheese and Crackers, this Colby Jack Cracker Cut Cheese Pack. They have these thin cut chicken breast fillets, $3 off. So that made these just over $6. I'm just gonna pop these in my freezer. If you can find affordable reduced meat, especially at Target, if you just freeze it right away or cook it right away, you can end up saving a good amount of money. I also needed center cut bacon for a recipe and this Hempler's is so good, you guys. It is so, so delicious. 
delicious and this is currently on sale as well. I did pick up three packs of the Good and Gather Apple and Maple Chicken Sausages. These were on clearance for $2.96 a pack. These are one of my very, very favorite breakfast sausages. You can have three of these for 100 calories or the points here on the screen. And because they were on sale, I went ahead and picked up the last three that they had. We are also going camping next weekend and I'll take these with us and stay tuned. I know you guys are super excited for the camping vlogs. They are coming. It'll be our first camping trip with Palmer. So stay tuned for lots of fun camping vlogs. Two of my favorite in the world cottage cheese. This is the good culture low fat. Again, you know I prefer the full fat, but they don't have that at Target. Both Palmer and I love this cottage cheese, so I picked up two. I need a beef broth for a recipe, and Swanson is on the Target Circle app on a coupon, so I picked up the beef broth, 50% less sodium. Unfortunately, Target does not sell the small cans of biscuits. That's one bad thing about tar buying biscuits at Target, so I just always buy the big can, and I use about half of this, which is equivalent to the small seven and a half ounce can of biscuits. I cook up the other two, Troy eats them. It works out really well, but I needed the biscuits for a recipe. Their Kavita brand kombucha was on sale two for five, which is about 70 cents less a bottle than the GTs, which I normally buy. It's not my all time favorite kombucha, but I've never tried either of these flavors, pineapple, peach, and ginger. I picked them up. They were such a great price and I thought that I would give them a try. A gallon of 1% milk for Troy. It's been a minute since I picked up my True Fruits and I love, love, love these. You guys know that these are my go-to sweet treat from Target. I love the cherries. It's my all-time favorite. They are covered in white and dark chocolate. They're 90 calories per serving, which is incredible. They're frozen, so it's a nice cold sweet treat as the weather gets warmer. They also have blueberries and raspberries, which are equally as delicious, but I have to say that the cherries are my all-time favorite. Organic all-purpose flour, because I am just about out of flour, and this was on sale as well, as well at Target, so I ended up saving a little bit of money. You already know we love the Arby's seasoned curly fries. If you are big Arby's fry fans, this is a great way to save a ton of points calories and fat. Just throw these in your air fryer or in the oven. They taste just like you pick them up at your Arby's restaurant, but again, you get to save all the grease and all the extra saturated fat that comes with frying these, and they are so delicious. So whenever I go to Target, I like to pick one up for the freezer. And lots of produce this week. I have a bag of frozen broccoli florets for a recipe. I needed strawberries for my meal prep for my snack. Unfortunately, the organic produce selection at my Target is very limited. Most of the produce that I I get organic I ended up having to pick up conventional strawberries was one of those and this is a big item for me that I like to pick up organic because it's on the dirty dozen but I'm just using it for a recipe I'll let Troy eat the rest of them same with mushrooms I do prefer them organic they didn't have them and I needed two eight ounce packs or 16 ounces of sliced mushrooms organic baby cut carrots this is for a crock pot recipe I did pick up green onions Sugar snap peas is another thing I really prefer to buy organic. Again, Target didn't have that. And then they have their Good and Gather coleslaw mix, a dollar off, which made this 79 cents. And I need this for a recipe. And I will definitely be making the recipe before the 15th. So that will go to good use. And I ended up saving over half on that. And a pack of tri-color bell peppers. Again, these are on the Dirty Dozen. Always like to have these organic. They didn't have any options at Target. Due to time constraints, I'm just having to settle a little bit on my organic produce for the week, but that is everything that I picked up for the week. Let's jump into what I'm doing for dinners and what you guys are gonna be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So here is this week's menu plan, my dinners for the week. We have a pretty exciting week. This is 515 through 521. So today, Saturday, we go out for dinner, frozen pizza, support a small business. Sunday, I'm making mushroom cheese burger casserole. You guys will see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, so stay tuned. This sounds incredible. Monday is broccoli cheddar chicken. This also sounds really good. We love broccoli in this house, so any recipe we can incorporate that in, we are here for it. Tuesday, we'll do leftovers as always. Wednesday, I'm gonna pop a pot roast in the crock pot with a balsamic glaze so this should be really good with potatoes and carrots and then thursday friday saturday we are camping it's our first camping trip of the year it's palmer's first camping trip of the year so we will be gone and a vlog of course will be coming out 
after our camping trip. Here is this week's meal prep that you guys will be seeing on Monday. Super, super excited for these recipes. For breakfast, I'm doing a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit bake. So this is savory comfort food breakfast. Excited for that. Lunch is a one pot chicken chow mein. This is easy because again, everything's in one pot. It's a 30 minute prep. Really excited for that. And then dessert is strawberry oatmeal cookies, which also sound amazing strawberries it's that time of year and i love a good portable cookie so you'll be seeing all three of these recipes in meal prep on monday thank you for joining me on another weekly ww grocery haul i hope you enjoyed seeing all the good stuff that i picked up for the week what's on my plan for dinners as well as what you'll be seeing on monday for meal prep super excited for those three recipes. So if you enjoyed this grocery haul, give it a big, huge thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you haven't subscribed before you go hit that little subscribe button, click the bell next to it. So you don't miss a single video. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching links, discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Head on over, join us there as well. Happy Saturday. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.